Hi, I'm Ben, and this is my story. I was invited to New Wine by my sister's friend. And I said, yes, I think I just wanted to get away from home. Things had got pretty bad. I've messed myself up quite a lot. I think I've been messed up quite a lot by others and I've messed others around. I began to isolate myself and things were pretty dark, actually. The months leading up to it had been an absolute trashy year. I would say like so many bits of my life fell apart. I managed to isolate myself pretty well. I had a terrible breakup, I had to call the police. I actually got involved in a satanic cult. It's part of which I had to perform some rituals on myself and that kind of thing. And it got pretty messy for me. So. Maybe you can imagine New Wine was quite an awkward place to be. I remember I spent a week feeling lost, pretty numb and, and very cynical as well. I thought God didn't exist, or if he did, he certainly wasn't on our side. He showed no interest in us, he was cruel. I thought, well, even if this is true and these people aren't crazy, then he certainly wouldn't want anything to do with me. You know, if he knows who I am and what I've done, what I've been up to. I saw some stuff that made me question that. People being healed, a lot of people were being honest about what they were facing and how God was at work in that. On the last night, I remember there was a woman speaking on stage at Thirst, which I think was the youth venue. And she was sharing how sometimes God lets us get into desperate situations so that we will reach out to Him. That sometimes He lets us get to the end of ourselves so that we can find that even when we've got nothing left, God still has everything for us. I remember thinking that's really interesting, but I'm not sure I believe in God, let alone that God is good. And, and even if he was, I really don't think he would accept me. I mean, I'd nail my colours to the mask, right? I had a satanic scar on my flesh over my heart to say that I didn't belong to God at all. So I didn't know what to do. And then she called people who wanted to respond and get help to, to ask for prayer. And I remember standing there thinking, nope, this is not for me. But still some guy came over and asked to pray for me and I made up something about moving to Australia just so that he would go away and he, he prayed about that and went away. And then some other guy came over called Stephen, I remember his name, and he said, I'm going to pray for you. And he was very gentle, so I thought, sure, we'll get this over with. And he did, he put his hand on my shoulder. And as he prays for me, I just get filled with this peace, right? From the, the top of my head to the tips of my toes, from the inside out, it's like this ball of pain in me began to unravel and was replaced with a profound sense of peace and love. One thing that's always stuck with me was this scar that I had over my heart where I carved this satanic symbol. As this guy prayed for me, as I felt this thing, this scar completely disappeared. For me, it's been such a powerful sign of God being real, God being on my side, that God reaches out to us no matter who we are, no matter what we've done. You know. That was amazing. My future has been something I never expected. I'm 12 years on from that now, and I got ordained in the Church of England. I think what I love about it is getting to walk with other people with Jesus in the way that I found Jesus walking with me. I think I tried so hard to run away from him, found that he was just running towards me. I love that we get to share that with other people.